Hi, I'm Adam. I'm Chris. And this is the Gamers Hall. And we are here today to do an unboxing of Dungeon in a Box. And I know barely anything other than their name. And then also that they put this their product in a really cool box. Uh, so everything I'm going to be saying is completely and utterly first impressions. Yep. And I've actually ordered a few boxes from this company already and <laughs> I decided to order some more boxes because I, I like the way they're going in their uh, direction. This box only costs $30 per box and if you do more obviously it's going to get cheaper. Um, but I'll, this I'll is... So like to say we are not sponsored by them so this is just our opinion on how well this product is put together. Yep. And this is their new campaign starter, which is deals a lot with uh, ships and oceans. So anybody who's wanting to do a pirate campaign or something like that, this is probably the way to go. Maybe. We'll see. Let's unbox it. Crack it. Yar. Campaign booklet. <clears throat> All right, so that's pretty cool. Uh, everybody likes puss in boots, except for this has no boots. It's just a cat person. Pretty good. Uh, I have to say, that is high quality uh, reading material right there. Hey, they actually give you the miniature of the guy on the front. They do. Tabaxi Pirate. Um, that is pretty cool. And really well done. Yeah, there's um, actually <clears throat> a high level detail on this miniature. So, um, this is a 30 page book with what appears to be a lot of tables. Help, you know, help you figure things out with stat blocks so it looks like they come up with a quite a bit here for you to go off of looks like it's probably gonna be more than just a one-shot gives you a little background five different factions that's pretty cool that's good to know that way help with any DM give them a little bit of background because we believe a little bit of background goes a long way a long way so <clears throat> Not sure how long they say this will take. It doesn't say on the box or how, how long it's intended. Uh, uh, that's just what it comes with. That's what it comes with. All right, so also. Uh -huh. If you're adventuring, this will take your characters from level one to level two. So And start them on an epic quest. Assuming one session, most likely. One to two, maybe two sessions, depending on how much your players want to get into the background and on their other stuff. Uh, this is pretty neat. This is a really cool figure. It is the hermit crab that is in the back of this. And if you can't see that, that hermit crab has a dragon skull for its shell. That is awesome. Oh! Pictures. Put those out so people can hopefully look at them. Oh, handouts. <clears throat> Handouts of uh, NPCs, I'm guessing. Yeah, and on the back of them, you have stat blocks and other helpful information. Which is always useful. I like that it's on the front and back. Yeah, that's actually really nice. And yet again, quality cardstock. That's very important because loose, crappy pieces of paper don't go a long way when you're trying to DM. Because, uh, I don't know about you, but most D&D players, including ourselves, typically get to be pretty messy, especially when you're playing. Don't exactly know what these are yet. Fragment of Astral Alignment, Fragment of Arcane Renaissance, Hall's Quarters, and Sigil's Quarters. Looks like something to add to probably the battle map that's under here. I don't know what that is, but that's pretty neat. This looks like a compass. Explain what that is. Well, let's open it up and find out what that is. Let's see, hold on. Oh. Astral Compass Adventurer Tracker. Well, I'm not sure which way it's supposed to be, maybe this way or that way, but either way, yet again, hard card stock, hard cardboard, um, really good print quality. Oh look, on the back it has actual spots, that's probably what these are for, 
depending on what the party chooses, you put it on there so you know their progress their progression throughout the story. I'm so, assuming. So now we figured out this can go right. Hey, yeah, it does totally fit right in there. So that's cool. Nice tracker. Oh, this is a little thing telling you about their skinny minis. Uh, this is a product that Dungeon Whoa. in a Box actually came out with. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say those are amazing, actually. Yeah, so instead of the like thin plastic <clears throat> sheet that you uh, they gave out before or that you would get with other things, these are actually uh, pretty. Let me go ahead. Yep, that happened. Well, it's okay. didn't break anything. Uh, oh, look at that. But it is... You know, there's a pretty good thickness on those. They're fully colored front and back. And they have these little uh, bases to, to go on. It makes storing them really convenient. Yeah, although I'm having a little trouble getting it in the, the hole. That's what she said. I got mine in pretty easy. Well, this one, oh, oh, there it goes, finally. Uh, so, I like these because it's pre-colored, pre-painted. Uh, unlike, you know, a lot of other miniatures, you got to pre-paint. This is really cool and all, but uh, sometimes some people don't want to take the time to paint. This gets you exactly what you need and the look and the feel for a campaign right out of the gate. Uh, I think that's great. And usually, I used to get... Yeah, it's kind of a premium quality, I would, I would say. You know, you don't you really? don't find this many other places. I you used to, they had these in the, the cardboard form, which come kind of like this yeah. cardboard stock, which were a little bit more flimsy that you could buy. Uh, Wizard used to sell them, and I I used to sell them in the game store I, I owned under the same name, but uh, they they were good. You know, Pathfinders put some out like that too, but they can wear out pretty easy, especially with a lot of use. You know your orc mini, your orc miniatures, or your uh, goblin miniatures for sure. You know they get used a lot and they get torn up. I don't see these getting torn up anytime soon, so that's really good. This is cardboard 3D terrain. Well, that's awesome. Like here, you tell about the map while I put one of these together. Uh, I love a good map. Alright, yeah. so, map. Well, that's pretty, that's really good. A lot of color, not very drab. Got a lot of defining features to it. Like, whatever that is. Uh, it's pink, therefore Looks it like has to be bad. Some kind of arcane circle, then, almost. Now, uh, the water effect on that is really good very bright oh wow oh hey it's a, it's a docking yeah. port so that that is really cool and definitely you could reuse this in so many different campaigns not just pirate campaigns i mean there's how many campaigns have we run that we would actually use this docking port? I know for a fact the, pan, the pirate campaign. Your pirate 100 campaign. One hundred percent reviews it. Uh, in my Eberron campaign, they were running. You guys are currently near a dock and just got on a ship. We could have used that in Waterdeep Dragon Heist. Exactly when they went to visit a special someone on a boat, or when one of our intrepid paladins went to visit some special somebody on a boat who he didn't know who it was. No spoilers. So that's really good. It almost looks like a tomb or a, or a sarcophagus, maybe. So, show that off. Table with food on it. Oh, that's really good. So this is like Legends of the Hen Temple looking thing. That's pretty cool. They got these spe spears. Oh, I think you actually put the spears through here. It's actually a trap. Oh, that's really cool. See, spears. We'll, we'll take I'm gonna, the time to I'm, put, I'm them gonna together, put these but. together later and put pictures towards the end of the video or something. All right, so those are really cool. So they give you 3D terrain. That's okay. uh, that's something every dungeon master I, I typically say would want because you you got your map, you have 3D terrain to go with your maps. Um, 
<clears throat> that miniatures, handouts, and okay. Let's be honest, no good pirate campaign is without a great map of the ocean and surrounding area. This is actually quality uh, paper too. That is so good. It's old school, but yet with a little bit of new school hint to it, with uh, the fine lines. You got the, the charts, you know, the paths that people will take running there. You got the compass. It's awesome. so good. And then, how are you going to do without some boats? Oh, above, above board? Below board. deck. Below deck. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. That's some really good stuff. I'm just, I'm ge I'm sorry, I'm geeking out over, over this. This, my friends, when somebody yeah. takes the time to make a good map, this is what sparks adventures right there. When somebody says, hey, this is the map you're at, and everybody goes, well, what's the teeth? Well, I don't know what the teeth is. Well, why don't you go there and find out? And then, you know what? Sooner or later, they're getting up to 12th level, and they find out that there's a crack and it's sleeping near the teeth, and that's why it's called the teeth. Who knows? Just an idea. Not to mention, just looking at it gives the Dungeon Master, I mean, plenty of ideas and opportunities to to think up all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, that is that is great. What is this? It's oh. a, This explains, oh, explains the, the, uh, minis. the minis. So, that's it. No gold oh, wait, what is, is found in the box. However, I think they've given us a pretty good replacement. Um, Some sticker thing here. I don't know what that is. I'll figure it out later. Wait, it's a jewel. Ha! There was gold. We found it. It's the jewel hidden in the box. So there was some <laughs> in there. Um, but first impressions, this is great. This is... This is a lot. And how much did you say this was? 30 bucks. $30 for two really good minis. Some, I mean, reusable plastic minis. I mean, these pirate guys are amazing. Yeah, not to mention some of those could be your player characters. Yeah. Um, you know, little cutouts that you could put together. A really decently done campaign book uh, with stickers and let's not forget the map. An awesome map, um, and 3D terrain, and 3D terrain, and I mean, it's actually quite a bit for 30 bucks. Yeah, how many other products do you know that Wizard sells, or Pathfinder sells, or any other company sells that really gives you this much? I can't think of any off the top of my head. I mean, I've seen, uh -huh. a, I've sold a lot of Wizard pre-mades, and I've I've sold some Pathfinder pre-mades, and yeah. they don't give you this much stuff in there for for 30 bucks like yeah. i can tell you right now you wouldn't have gotten these cards most likely you wouldn't have gotten that you may have gotten a miniature but you're not getting the big baddie miniature for sure uh you might get those little cardboard cutout miniatures but this is good also this is this is quality stuff right here yeah All right, so we took some time to go ahead and put everything together. Uh, kind of read the story a little bit, 
uh, look at the adventure, what, how you start off, what each one of these things means inside the campaign. Uh, and we, we wanted to see if we could find some stuff we, we didn't like from our first impressions, just to, to get into it a little bit more. Um, Chris, what, what would you like to start with? Uh, just quick skimming. I honestly really like the 3D terrain. Um, but uh, I think our both biggest gripe is that with the skinny minis, there were there weren't enough small bases for all of them. Now, I mean, that could be intentional. Maybe you're not going to run into every single uh, NPC at the same time, but I mean, it, it would have been so, nice. But that's a very small gripe compared yeah. to what all you're getting. Also, you have to take a little time to cut off uh, a few little things, but honestly, pretty much the plastic that was around, it just tears off. And it, it comes out pretty clean. Uh, do be a little careful. Don't go too crazy with it because you can break them, even though they're pretty sturdy. But you'll do have you'll have to do just a little cleaning. Yeah. Uh, but we we laid the maps out. Um, we figured out what these things were, and that the, these are actually not spikes uh, or spears or spears. I mean, they could be, but they're actually uh, little indicators. Which I don't want to spoil anything for anybody that's going to play through this. Um, but uh, what is cool about them, though, is you could easily sh have these not in there, and you can put this on the map and say, hey, guys, you find this stone visage. Would you like to do a check on it? Figure out what it could be. You know, and then they could look into it and then go, uh-oh, ha, gotcha. It's a trap. But it's a trap. Uh, still pretty cool. Has some uses for it. Um, one thing is with the layout in the book, it took us some time to kind of discern exactly what room was what. Uh, some are pretty obvious, like this is the uh, the room with the pool in it. This is the natural pool. Pretty easy to figure out. But some of the other ones you kind of had to follow along. So if if, if you're going to run it, it might not be a bad idea to maybe take a sticker or something to indicate for yourself what room is each you know put a 2b somewhere have a little piece of paper something to make some help. quick dm notes yeah quick dm notes that way you don't get lost when one of your players which they most certainly will go to the wrong room first um we we did really there's, there's not really a whole lot to dislike honestly for for the 30 dollar price line i mean not only are you getting the the actual 3D minis that you can paint, they're already primed and you can paint yourself. They even give you the skinny mini versions of them, you know, if you didn't want to do that. So that's really nice and I really liked that point. And I found one thing that was really cool was these extra stickers um, in here. that are legacy trackers. I thought they were really cool as in when things are happening you do actually add them to the map so you could add you could keep this room that is here on this ship as is or you could take one of these stickers and put it in there or if you really wanted to you could stick it here and make a whole nother room on your ship I think that adds a little cool element uh, that will allow your players to grow their ship because yeah customizability every, every pirate likes to grow their ship you can also add the tracker here. You might be able to make your own custom stickers. They won't look as good as these other stickers do, but you still can. Um, another thing, this is the relic that you are sent to find at the very beginning of the mission. Not giving anything away. That, that temple you start off in, that's the first mission. You start off right there, already knowing each other, ready to go, ready to play. Contact has already been made. He says, hey, go find this thing. And that's what you're doing. You end up finding this thing, and at some point, you're going to get one of these little extra bits that gets added to this. Now, this is a small gripe, uh, but I would have liked them to actually add enough to put to this, but Chris is assuming is that there will be more adventures to it, which probably will, which will add more to this, because this is Adventure 1. Yeah. But uh, me being a person that commonly takes his players somewhere else other than what the book says... 
I would have liked an extra ones that way they could find these pieces somewhere else depending on what they do because um, I'm a very much see my pants DM I don't I don't plan a whole lot I like right. to just be and do so still not a not a big enough big enough gripe to cause any problems um, and I mean you still got great maps with great functionality a lot of flavor uh, this is a whole campaign map. I mean, let's be honest. Easily run a campaign up into the, the mid-tier, uh, if not the all the way up to 20. I want to go to Black Rift. Um, so, upon putting all this together and, and really looking at all the stuff and just realizing how much thought and, and preparation they put into this, for 30 bucks, it's worth it. Oh, it's well worth it. So, I mean, you get 3D terrain, uh, these miniatures, the skinny minis, which the skinny minis alone I'm very impressed with. Um, cards, help cards. Yeah. All yeah. done on great card stock. Yeah, something for the DM to easily go, okay, bam, I got this. I don't have to look through the book and see what his stats are, like this book, and see yeah. what their stats are. It's just, I, I got them. Right. Very awesome for the DM. Uh, and then just great campaign building. I mean, man, you guys get a ship. Who like I would get this alone just for the ship here, just to say, all right, let's start a pirate campaign, which we have. Chris here ran a campaign for um, us, you know, our friends in, in our gaming group at one point, and we didn't have a ship. We had to basically draw our ship and do that. And I played as the captain of the ship. And we had to designate out where all the places were and all this. If we had this from the get-go, this would have made our pirate campaign so much simpler. Just for the sheer fact that we have something to go off of. Above and below deck, plenty of room. It's not a small ship, which honestly, ships are not as big as we like to make them think they are. But but in a and d world, you want your ships big, so when you have a battle on them, there's, there's room to navigate. Right. So, really well done. Um, yeah, and not to mention the, the amount of information they give you in this pamphlet is really enough to do get it, at least two sessions. Like, I mean, it's made for a one-shot, but you could probably easily get two or three sessions depending on how your players play through it. After you get out of the temple, you have a whole area that's built for downtime. You go to a dock, which is Greyhaven, on, this Grey city. Haven, and you go to a dock, and you dock there, and you go have some fun in town. And they have charts and... Uh, downtime activities that you can go bet on and allow it for your players to to have some fun that's not you know combat related create some really good role-playing scenarios um, let them blow off steam and let them you know flesh out their characters in a, in a role that's not combat uh, which I think is a big plus that 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 they came up with a campaign that's not solely built on dungeon delving and combat it's about creating a flavor a, a, a role-playing seed that can grow into a much bigger campaign. So, yeah, another good high value there. Yeah, I mean, just this one box set at $30 is enough to get any Dungeon Master the, a, a very good foundation and plenty of extra to go on with whatever. So, that being said, it's worth it. Definitely. For the $30 price value is absolutely worth it. I can't actually wait to see uh, what the next box is going to be, and I'll be getting that in a, probably in a couple of weeks. Yep. And we'll, we'll do an unboxing then. Um, if you like our what we've done here, please subscribe. Uh, we would like to grow this, and we have a lot more ideas to come. A lot yep. more uh, shows, and what we're hoping to do is create a community where we can expand experiences and hopefully create better uh, playtimes and stories for your group. All right. Until that time, have fun. Take care. All right. Later.